Hi everybody, Patrick here from www.engineeringshock.com and www.electroniclessons.com. We're going to make a series of short videos showing off some of our new product. This is the ultrasonic rangefinder module, excellent price. Uh, what it is, is you, you've got a 5 volt source, our DC ground, and we've got two other pins, TX and RX. TX stands for transmit, RX stands for receive. Now the way an ultrasonic rangefinder works typically is that you send a signal and uh, when the when the sending signal is bounced back off off some an object, uh, it is received by the receiver, amplified, and turned into a a usable signal. However, the time in between the transmission and the bounced back signal indicates how how uh, how far away the object is. Anyone looking for one of these will know what I'm talking about. But I mean, this is not a simple um, proximity sensor. So it's, what you have to do is you have to feed a 40 kilohertz signal through it. I've got my signal generator in the back sending a 40 kilohertz signal to the transmitter pin, which is transmitting through our transmitter. So this ultrasonic range finder, this ultrasonic sensor is sending out a 40 kilo, kilohertz hertz pulse. And when I put my hand in front of it, uh, the transmitted pulse is bouncing back to the receiver, and the receiver... Uh, the receiver amplifies it and detects it. So I've, actually what I'll do is I'll move back and I'll show you the oscilloscope. I've got it hooked up to an oscilloscope right now. Okay, so I'm going to start inter I'm going to put my hand in front of the sensor. That's a 40 kilohertz signal. Now the further back I go, the, the longer the pulse width is, the closer I get, the uh, smaller the pulse width gets. So I can actually <clears throat> switch this up. You might have a better oscilloscope, but as you see, the further back I get, the longer the pulse widths get. So that's our ultrasonic rangefinder module. It requires a 5 volt source, a 40 kilohertz pulse that can be created from a 555 timer or a microprocessor. It's usually uh, meant to be interfaced with a microcontroller to determine the pulse widths. Uh, in relation to distance. So if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us at www.engineeringshock.com. Thanks for watching.